Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to count the occurrences of a date between two dates. So I was asked on a training course recently by someone who had a list of start and end dates like I do in columns A and B at the moment and they wanted by using an Excel formula to find out how many occupancies there were on each given night, on a date in that night. So we can see looking at the dates in columns A and B that for example for the first range of dates there is an occupancy for the first, the second and the third of July. They're not staying on the 4th because that's the end date. That's when they check out. And then we've got the occupancy for the 2nd and the 3rd only. And so on. There's an occupancy on the 4th and the last one. So we realise that we need to count the occurrences of a specific date. But within a range of date values. So as soon as I thought of that. That I had an array of dates. I thought of my good friend some product one of my favorite Excel functions and is perfect for working with arrays and performing this type of intense conditional logic. So in cell G2 of this sheet, this could easily be happening on a different sheet, but for the simplicity of this video, cell G2, I will start with some product, the function, so that it prompts me for the arrays. So if I zoom in on that, we can see the prompt for the arrays in here. I will open a bracket for this first array and ask it if the value in cell F2, the first date I'm checking, the 30th of June, if it is greater than or equal to the start date values. So is it equal to it, because they're staying that night, or greater than it? So over we go to the start dates. And I will select all of them, so an array of start values. And I'm going to press my F4 keyboard shortcut. And you can see in my formula bar, absolute reference. Close off that bracket. And I shall put in the asterisk to create this AND logic between the next array, open bracket, where I would like to test if that date, the 30th of June, is less than the end date values. So I don't want to check if it's equal to this, just if it is, in addition to being equal or greater than the first date, it's got to be less than the end date. F4 to make that reference absolute, close off that array, close off the sum product function. And if I run that function, we have no occupancies for the 30th of June. That is correct. Let's see what happens when we copy it down. Boom. That's what we wanted. There is an occupancy for the 4th of July. There are two here. Sorry, not two. There are four for the 2nd and the 3rd. And it's just two occupancies for the 1st. Row 2 and row 5. That is working. That is some product coming to our aid, making something that seems impossible so, so simple. An array to test if the date is greater than or equal the start date and also less than the end date. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials at our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.